Hello guys, you welcome back to Orange Studios. I'm Inchiga, and in today's tutorial, we are going to do a simple church flyer. It's so simple we should do this in five minutes. Let's take on the challenge and get it done. Let's jump into it. Alright, so jumping straight into it, we are going to create our canvas and we are using this setting right here. So copy and let's get it done. Alright, so to create the background, we will need this right here and this to do that. So I'm dragging that and I'll drop it on the canvas. Alright, so let's get it done. So first of all, let me turn these things off. I'm going to create a shape over the artboard or the canvas. I'm going to use a dark color. So let's change this to black. Well, let's take this back. I'm going to um, turn this on. Let's increase it. My target is to get these things here. Let's turn this on. My target is to get this line somewhere in the middle. All right, so let's get this done. Let's try to cover like this. All right, this should be fine. Now I'm going to convert the change the blend mode from normal to luminous. I'm going to turn down the opacity to let's say 60. There about yes. This should be fine. Let's zoom in and have a look. All right, it's blurry, but I want it more blur. So let's move out to filter, um, blur, surface blur. Then I'm going to use these settings right here, which I've already tested. So um, you can play around the settings and see which works for you. All right, so this is fine. Okay. All right. Now let's apply a layer max and then max out some areas. So hit B to bring out a brush to square, open square or close square brackets to max this side out. Make sure the foreground color is set to black. All right, undo. Let's turn down the opacity small. All right, this is, should be fine. All right, now let's bring this in the scene. Take this back so we can see what we are doing. It fits perfectly well. All right, so now let's change this, the blend mode for this from normal to screen. And this is fine. So there we are. We are done with the background. Let's Put them in a group and name them background all right so the next thing is to add the text and i hope i can do this and beat the time so let's type in the word grace and change that to trajan pro all right let's change the color to black right and increase it a little bit now let's move over here double click and then move into the style effects panel or layer style panel then we want to click on this bevel and emboss let's go in there change it to yes inner bevel and then let's change it from smooth to hard chisel then let's zoom in so we can see what's happening to the text then we want to change the depth Increase the depth a little, reduce the softness, we don't want the softness, and the size should go up. So we can increase it like this. Yes, I like this very well. So let's hit on OK. But first of all, let's change this. We are going to work with something like gold. So we want to use colors that are that will make sense to go. So let's use the change the shadows to this and the highlights to something like this. Alright, so already it's looking goldish, right? This is fine. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to clip max a texture to this. Then we'll be done with the font or the text. So to do that, I have this texture right here. All right, so I'm going to clip mask it to this very run here. And that is it. So we have moved from it looking like this to it looking like this. So let's try and add a drop down shadow to this and see what it does. So double click, add drop down shadow let's increase the size covers a little yeah something like this is fine just want it a little separated from the background as we go we'll add more so this is it with the name right here let's add one more thing which is to make duplicates of this text right here all right so Control j to duplicate and then what we'll do is to turn this to off right and then turn down the 
shadow move over to the bevel and emboss and then we would zoom in so we can see what's happening then we'll change it from hard chisel to smooth all right something like this then would also then would also reduce the size like this all right let's add a gradient to it like that and uh, would make this side darker all right well so this should be fine all right change it from radial to linear like that all right so with this we can now bring back this and you probably are not seeing anything now so what we are going to do is to use the navigation key on the keyboard so hit one pixel down as in the down click one press one and then the right you do move another one so it's just one pixel to the left one pixel down and then you're going to duplicate all of this i mean this to like six seven times and do the same thing for all so let me do one more so duplicate then we move this one using the navigation key move downwards once and move to the right once so we are going to repeat this for all all right so after making multiple copies of the of the text this is what we have here let me close this group all right so this is before and after all right so this is how you create the 3d kind of effect in photoshop all right so now let's add another text to it which is the r and then with that we're going to use the font called hertin h-e-r-t-i-n let's change this to white and push it up a little bit like this all right so what we have here is grace r so we are just going to add the image of the um, guest the host and then we add the text all right so there goes our man we will take him behind all of this all right so let's even put all of this in the group and then we'll call it title all right. this should be fine and then we are going to mask out this part of the host so we are going to max out this area like that then one more thing we are going to create a layer above this and then use a dark color like this to paint here all right the essence is that we want the text to really stand out from the body all right so let's do that now let's reduce the opacity just a little bit more reduce the size of the brush and gently paint over like that so let's see the before and after well i promised five minutes but i'm well over five minutes so let's let's get it done anyway so next what we are going to do is to create a, a place where we are going to put our date and time and to do that i'm going to use the ellipse tool so let's click and select the ellipse tool and let's create an ellipse like this a, set, a round circle and then let's change the color to something like this yep this is fine all right so we are going to make a duplicate of this so Control j to duplicate then we are going to enlarge the one behind which is this one like that right hit on enter to activate it then we move over to the attributes of the shape to right here click on this and make a no fill and then click on the fill and select this let's see we select twice so it stands out separate from this all right now let's change this to let's say five and see so this is cool now i'm going to convert this to a smart object so i can do some further edits let's apply a layer mask use the marquee tool let's use the rectangular marquee tool select an area like this all right hit b to bring out a brush to let's just paint over this let's increase the opacity to 100 like that all right so this is what we want to do now let's link both layers all right and then make uh no before we link let's make a duplicate first drag the duplicate down link them now so we are linking this and that and then this and that all right so we can move them around together Control t to bring a transform 
let me just turn it this way move this up a little bit hit enter to activate transform this as well and then we move this up a little like this all right so now we are going to put in the text which is the date here and then the time here and then we'll put the name of the church here and uh, probably the location and contact numbers here all right so let's do that quickly and we're done all right all right so this is how far we've come well i need to explain this we didn't go through the typing of the text like this this and that for two reasons one i promised five minutes with us if i see the five minutes so i didn't want to take much more of your time and two typing out the text really is no big deal it's something you can easily do i believe you can do that all right so like you can see i basically put everything in groups all right so let's even put this in a group um let's put this and that all of this in a group so with this done we move on to the last and final stages which is just adding some few touches to the design we are done we are literally done and with this we can say we are done but i want us to add some few things all right so the first of it being that i want to have the shadows really popping up a little bit more right i can do that for this man alone let's go over to more image then you move to adjustment selective color then we can just increase the blacks so let me zoom in all right the blacks in the image all right so let's go to the stream and you can see what happens all right so this is going to the stream and this is taking out all the blacks all right so this all right tell me what you think but we can be a little patient with it like this i think this is fine all right and then yes so with this we are good with this but i want to um, emphasize on the shadows or do that a little bit more by using this so i'm going to use this method shape all right draw a black shape over the entire artwork like that and i'm going to change the blend mode from normal to um soft light so you realize that everywhere there's um dark okay where the shadows are have been really really emphasized on all right and the highlights are kind of still showing their face all right so what we want to do is now change the opacity down to let's say 24 fill to let's say 18 or 20 and let's see the before zoom in before and after right it's a little change but it's significant well what about the highlights so what we're going to do is to duplicate this all right and change this to the highlights here are more yellowish so let's go for yellow all right and then change this from no uh, soft light to let's say overlay like this right so this now also pushes the highlight up a little let's zoom in you can pay attention to his face all right before and after all right another thing is to add brightness and contrast right so let's select this just push the brightness up a little like this maybe 15 is okay then we we'll push the contrast up by let's say five or five or six all right let's see the before and after so you see it now popping up a little more so this is this is it this is the flyer we've designed right now right here now in not five minutes but probably over 10 minutes okay so there we go this brings us to the end of today's tutorial i hope it was very helpful if it was don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to this channel and if you have any question kindly leave that in the comment section and I'll respond.